Hello YouTube, this is a request. Um, how to use crossband repeat legally in the UK. Um, for example, what we have to do here, we have to hold in that button and that button and the on button. So it's VM on this left side. I wish I could... I might just have to put the camera down. I'll tell you what I'm doing. You have to hold in the VM button on the left band side and the number six button. And it will come up like this. It will say set, set mode and reset. You press all these four buttons on the left side. Miss the middle button. Don't press that eyes. It will reset the rig. And then press the other four. And you'll get this menu up. Now what I want to do is legally try and crossband repeat in the UK. We're only allowed to run 500 milliwatts from the handset, which I've already been and done. So that's running 500 milliwatts in the low power setting. And this is running 5 watts in the low power setting at the minute. So what we do is we just hold down this button. And as you can see, we're changing it for the we're changing the power of this sideband because this is the side we want to change power on. This side is the settings for this side. You're holding these buttons to change. It says power here, 22H. Now, 5 watts, so I've actually had mine turned down a bit. 5 watts is 3BH. Okay, so we're going to turn it down to the lowest power setting, which is about 3 milliwatts, I believe. These will go right down to. We're going to set that to about... Uh, we'll set that to about 0AH, which is about 10 milliwatts, I think. Somewhere around there. To save it, hold in the button. Switch it off switch the rig back on we're now running 500 milliwatts from this okay so we've got YL on one frequency what we're going to do is we're going to go just turn that down a minute we're going to put us uh, we're going to have to put uh, CTCSS in code on it so because we're the only ones that are allowed to use the crossband repeat nobody else is allowed to use your crossband repeat I was it's cat class in it as a repeater so we're just going to put uh, we'll keep it to that 79.7 Hertz Okay, so now we go back to the menu. We go to uh, menu 40, uh, what was it? It's 44, which is X repeat. You press that button and you press it. And now you'll see if I turn the squelch down, it receives it now and retransmits it on there. If I turn the squelch down on this side, it won't retransmit because I'm being a silly boy and you need CTCS SD code. So let's put this on anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put it into the low power setting, which I've already set on here as 500 milliwatts. Well, it's, I think it's a little bit lower than that, to be honest with you. Right, there we go. Tone frequency. What was it? 79.9. There it is. So, for example, this is too easy to be my test. We're not going to open up the repeater just yet, so I've not sent the tone burst, but look. When it, re when it receives on this side of the the rig, it retransmits it on this side. Two zero bring my test. Okay, let's give it a tone burst and call Anthony. Two zero FIA, this is a test of the cross band repeat. Please go ahead, two zero bring my. Two E zero BMI listening through YL. Can someone please give me a check? Well, anyway, it looks like nobody's about at the minute. Two E zero BMI is clear. Right, here we go. Basically, to get out of the crossband repeat, you press the menu button, you'll hear two beeps, and you'll get your menu sign back, and you can change all the settings back to normal. I'll just turn it back here, there we go, that'll be fine. And uh, there we go, it's back, and you can do it either side of the band. But just remember to turn your power down for the UK, so you're in your licence limits. That's for the two e That's for the intermediate call sign, I'm not sure about the M6, you'll have to find out yourself. 2 0 BMI. <laughs>